It is a case involving child abuse and the death penalty. And in the coming days, it moves forward in court. Tonight, the grandmother of the four-year-old who has died has something that she really wants to say. And she spoke only to WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco. And Courtney's joining us now live. This is the first time she's spoken since that child died last April, Courtney. That's right, and her goal is to prevent this from happening to another child. And she will be here inside March 25th, the next time Nala's name is expected to come up in a courtroom. Seeing pictures of Nala Miller healthy in her father's arms brings her grandmother to tears. How do you hear her scream and you don't do anything? This isn't just a children's services issue. This is a community. What do we do as a community to stop this or bring more awareness to child abuse? Monica Green says she and her son Nathaniel Miller reported abuse since fall 2020 after the mother, Tiana Robinson, stopped letting them see her. We send the police over there to do a couple well checks. They don't come to the door. By January, they applied for custody, had a court date for April 30th. Instead, April 13th, Nala was at the hospital. Doctors documented months of abuse, head to toe, plus starvation. We told you then the mother took the blame. Nala died nine days later. She doesn't deserve the right to be called a mother. To you, she's a murderer. Absolutely. 100%. Weeks after the death, we were there as Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters announced he would seek the death penalty against Robinson, calling the mother's actions tremendous torture. She deserves the death penalty. She deserves it 10 times over. In June, the mother's attorneys filed this 40 page motion to dismiss the capital components of this case, arguing Ohio's death penalty can be imposed for arbitrary, discriminatory reasons that it's constitutionally intolerable. The next month, her attorney argued Robinson is incompetent, writing she cries, makes incoherent responses, shuts down with her head on the table. A judge ordered a year of mental health treatment at Summit Behavioral Health. Her competency hearing is in August. The boyfriend is in court March 25th for obstruction. Police say he lied, saying Nala was hurt riding her scooter. In the spirit of keeping kids safe, what can we learn? Try harder. Go with your gut. You know, if you're thinking something's wrong, what's the worst that can happen? They tell you to leave. And I spoke to one of the mother's attorneys. He said no comment. In addition to asking for a dismissal of the death penalty component of this case, he's also asking for a change of venue. No ruling on either of those. Reporting live in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.